Today we're looking at two universal remotes, the Black Web 6 device universal remote and the RCA 4 device streaming remote. I have a Panasonic Smart TV, an RCA surround sound system, a Roku 3, and an LG Blu-ray player I wanted to control with one remote without spending a lot of money. The RCA 4 device streaming universal remote. I first picked up the RCA remote at Walmart for $8.99. I saw this remote didn't have a button for audio receivers, but with great hope. I hoped the satellite cable button would work with my RCA receiver, since it was an RCA remote after all. Unfortunately, this didn't work, but for $8.99, I got my other three devices connected on the remote. I searched other RCA Universal remotes and others have a specific button for audio receivers. I assumed, and you know what they say happens when you assume. The RCA 4 device streaming Universal remote was easy to set up and easy to use. The Black Web 6 device Universal remote. Although I was happy with my $8.99 purchase of the RCA Universal remote, I was back at Walmart a week later and saw the Black Web 6 device Universal remote. It normally costs $9.88, but all I really saw was the giant $5 rollback sign. After a quick search, I found the amp device button was for audio receivers. It was only $5, so I picked it up. The Black Web Universal Remote was just as easy to set up as the RCA Universal Remote. The only device that didn't set it up within the first couple codes was the audio receiver, but there are about 40 codes to run through. It took about 10 codes to find my receiver. Their website is perfect for finding your codes and setting up your remote. Just go to myblackwebremote.com. I am very grateful for today's cheap universal remotes. It's been a long time since I've purchased one because they've always been finicky, but these two remotes work great for all the main functions. A couple drawbacks. I haven't used the RCA remote a whole lot, but I really hope you don't need to use it in the dark. The backlight option on it is an absolute joke, so don't buy it if you need a backlight on your remote. The Black Web 6 device universal remote's backlight option is legit though way better than the RCA remote. So far, the only finicky thing I found with the Black Web remote is using the back button with the HBO Now app on Roku 3. It doesn't go back in some situations for some reason, but it hasn't been too big of a deal. The Black Web remote wins based on functionality, its future-proof stance, six devices, you know when I get rich and can afford all those things, its backlight option, and how it feels. The original price is less than a buck more than the RCA Universal remote, but to me, it's worth the price by far. Two more devices for 89 cents more. I am not sure how much longer it will be on sale for $5, but if you are on the fence or even have thought about trying out a Universal remote, go snag this one up before the price hikes back up. I'm even thinking about grabbing a second one. Now normally I tell you to go check out my Amazon links because I do partake in the Amazon affiliate program, but the prices for these remotes on Amazon are ridiculous. They are like four times more in some cases than what you can get at Walmart. So just go to Walmart and pick these up. But if you still want to support me, you can go ahead and click on the Amazon link or visit the website post here if you want to read this article here. Thank you for checking out my video on these universal remotes. If you've had any doubts in the past, go ahead and pick one up now. They've seemed to improve quite a bit. And you can also check out my website, belofx.com, where I got all sorts of different things that you can go check out and hopefully learn. Or just if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot them my way. Please leave a comment, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.